Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dungeons of Dreadmore. Let's get in here for a new game. I'll just want to have fun, let's do some no time to grind, and go. What do I want to do today? Let's randomize it, see what's up. Swords dodging. Not wild about Necronomica. No, 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 I'm not wild about that. Get rid of that one. Wand lore. Interesting. Apparently I totally missed out on the whole wand lore thing before, so this could work out. No, 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 not veganism, not gonna do it. Wind power, okay, could work out. Coolomancy, maybe not Coolomancy and wind power, that seems a little weird. But definitely, we're gonna do some magic. Let's do Laywalker. I think to use burglary for sure, because I really like it. And let's see, I mean, the dodging's good. Oh, don't we have a problem with the, yeah, there's like a, a leap power we don't know how to actually use. Yeah, aside from that, it's not that bad. For the first few floors, Big Game Hunter would be really good, because again, it's good for animals. It's good against animals, I should say. Every time we defeat an animal, we basically get a huge bunch of experience. That's not bad. Um, let's see. Piracy is good for money-wise. Lawyer's good. Let's just go Big Game Hunter, what the heck. Alright, so we're going to cast Wind... I have no idea what one more is going to give us, but let's try this out. All right, we were male last time. Let's see female this time. Body of the Universe, who am I naming this run after? Body of the Universe has selected Darwinlar, who's following me on Twitch. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and go. All right. So the one lore is weird. Like I took damage immediately there. So one lore basically just means we have the n-dimensional lath. Lathe, one of those. Burglary means you have lock picks. We have a wooden sword, so at least we start with a weapon. That's at least progress. Okay, we stole a jelly bean. A single jelly bean. You ever eaten just one jelly bean? My girlfriend's really good about that. I don't know how she does it. But she's good at just just a little bit of a snack. I mean, it's an amazing demonstration of self-control that I just cannot, I can't do. Um, no, because we're already down to seven health and it's a little risky. No, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna sit here and eat food as I try to recoup from my horrible mistakes in life. And try not to step in any more traps. But yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever eaten just a single jelly bean and called it good. I don't think it's ever happened. Here, we get the lucky pick, wherever the heck that is. Where's the hell's the lucky pick at? Lucky pick, where are you? There it is. Anytime I eat jelly beans, it's always gonna be like at least 10. Not that I've ever really countered. I counted, rather. I've always just. Man, we are taking stupid amounts of damage. Um, they all just eating until I didn't want anymore. However many that happen to be. Could have been 10, could have been 20, could have been 395, whatever it was. It's, you know, whatever. There's a gust of wind here. Blows, oh, knock back nearby enemies. Okay, it's like this guy, does that do actually some damage? Oh, okay, it's like nearby to me. It's different than I was expecting. Let's eat some sushi here. There's an amulet down there. How would they ever see amulets? Okay, well, I pushed him, like, way back, but it barely did any damage. It did do damage to that guy, though. It's progress. We could just die right here. That would be sad. Um, let's see what we can do. Can I get some more artful dodging here? That might help me. Also, he has an automatic counter, I believe. We have the potion replenishment. Okay, here we go. And we are doing five damage to this guy, so that's not horrible. He's only doing three to us. And we have more health than he does. Well, just barely. We did it at the start anyway. There we go. Okay, Stout Grammar gives me some good armor. I'll take it. That doesn't actually add to my resistance at all. That's weird. Okay. Don't know what's up with that. That's very strange. Pillars is south of me. Direction is east of me. 
So it'd been the solution to the puzzle with the words of fate and eligible. Okay, apparently. Oh, okay, so this would be like a configuration thing? Okay. I get ya. I'm bad at these anyway, so. Alright. Slavi so puzzle and earn knowledge, fit the runes where they belong, pull the lever to the other side and hold the clues you'll need. Difference is the west of me. Like, I knew what the hell this is. Difference is not. What? Yeah, okay. Pillars is south of me. So for the direction, Pillars is south. Alright, well the only place Pillars can be south is there. And direction would be there then, and then Thalmat C would be there. Nope. Did not work. Kind of surprised it didn't spawn bad guys. Pillars is south of me, direction is east of me. Uh, it's certainly west, I suppose. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Does he see me? He does not see me. It's weird. Am I invisible to animals now? You grab this good stuff. Oh, they're a dragon? You also count as animals, so I get bonus points for murdering you. There you go. I'm a little worried that our sword is not going to be cutting it. Um, what? Do we get a sword? Oh, we have a sword skill, right? We do. Okay, so we want to keep using swords as much as possible. Yeah, okay, these teleport just teleports me in the same room. So, useless teleporter. Oh, this is totally a trap, isn't it? We want to keep using swords. A staff is not really a sword, even if you pretend it is. I used to do that, you know, pick up a stick, pretend it's a lightsaber. All good times. However, it wasn't really a lightsaber, and a stick is not really a sword. Another suicide bell. Alright, you know what? They sell for a pretty penny, so sure, why not? We'll just pick it up. We're not going to use it, though, although right now I'm not going to... Oh, there's a receptacle right here. Okay, so this hint then, I mean, it's behind the frickin' bookshelf. How was I supposed to know that? So if directions to the east of me for Thaumancy, then direction would be down here. So pillars is south of me for direction. So maybe swap these around. Um, did they just... Yeah, they're, they're on top. That's not helpful. Okay. The direction over here. Let me see down here. So, Pillars is still south, but south, like, west, I guess? Nope. Oh, it says the chest unlocks. Uh... Where's the chest? Might be buried under these bodies. If it is, I have no idea. Could be down here for all I know. Alright, hey guys, you're gonna surround me, aren't you? So let's not allow that. There. Okay, death. I prefer if you weren't here. I think you're a little early, death. Oh, we shouldn't be here until like the second floor. The deal disappeared. Oh, don't cast acid on me right now. That is just rude. I had to walk in front of it, fortunately. Come on, don't murder me. There we go. Good level up. Okay, so I will take. So Nightly Leap's the one I have a real problem with. Um, it doesn't actually work, as far as I know. Uh, Listener's Overhaul. Sure, why not? Gives us more damage. We need that right now until we get a decent weapon. And I don't know when the hell that's going to be. Swords seem to be pretty common. But who the hell knows? All right. Pop this open. Say hello to the Diggle friends. Just want the experience, really. There are more Diggles in here than there possibly could fit. It's a freaking clown car of Diggles. How many How many were in here? I up and see the amazing Diggle brothers. Marco, Polo, Elio, Mofo, Frodo, Bobo, Nono, and Robo. 
performing here. Now their amazing contorting diggle act. Apparently we're trying to figure out how many diggles could fit into a phone booth. Can you believe that used to be a thing? I mean, not diggles, obviously. That's different. But it used to be like, how many people can you fit inside a phone booth? Like, why? Like, how starved for entertainment would you have to be? I mean, first of all, I mean, nowadays, you have to find a phone booth, which would be quite the feat in and of itself. But once you've done that, I mean, how many... I've never wondered how close I could be to a dozen other people, or however many. Though it is kind of hilarious watching uh, Bill and Ted's... So, that, you know, the, the new Bill and Ted movie is going to come up in... Shoot, 2021, I think? Well, assuming they actually are allowed to resume filming, which I suppose is a debate right now. Uh, I will totally take a shield, thank you. But they're supposed to be doing a update to the new Bill and Ted. There's supposed to be a third Bill and, Bill and Ted movie, which I think is going to be great, because Keanu Reeves is fantastic. And I've always liked Bill and Ted movies. I haven't liked Bogus Journey. I know that's controversial. A lot of people didn't like Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, but I had some good fun with that. But yeah, so I was watching it and realized, you know what, they're just fitting a bunch of people in the phone booth like they used to do in the 50s. Because that, there's that one scene. Cream dust? Okay. Um, there's that one scene in the first movie where they're traveling through time and they're all just sticking out of the phone booth in the time stream, which does not seem healthy. Doctor Who taught me that is not a good thing to be happening. But, yeah, they're basically just all sticking out of there, all trying to fit in. I mean, there's a bunch... I mean, I don't know how the heck they were fitting however many people into that phone booth. Really, if it had been a TARDIS, it would have made more sense. The funny thing is, I mean, the Bill and Ted's... It's funny it is a phone booth, actually, because of the whole Doctor Who thing. Doctor Who predates... Bill and Ted's Adventure by 40 years? Something like that? 30 years? Somewhere in there? So it's kind of funny that they decided to go for the phone booth and then not make it bigger on the inside. I guess that would have been a step too far. Uh, let's see. Baton Polisher, Anyone to Innuendo, Butcher, Flight of the Flamingo. Oh, this is Wind. Um, all right, sure, why not? I think that new Bill and Ted movie is going to be fun. It's going to be stupid, obviously, but it's also going to be fun. It's going to be weird for some people whose introduction to Keanu Reeves was the John Wick movies. That's going to throw them for a loop. There's going to be a lot of theories on the internet. If there aren't already, and there might be, I haven't really been paying attention. There's going to be a lot of theories on the internet of why John Wick has decided to travel through time with his donor friend. It's going to be weird. Let's go downstairs. I think we're about ready. Hmm. I'm worried right now that our current setup does not exactly... Uh... Encourage longevity here. It doesn't seem like we're gonna be able to win this run. It seems like we're a little underpowered. Like, I'm taking way more damage from any of these hits than I probably should be. Look at that. Oh, shit. Okay. Haha. <laughs> as soon as I say that, as soon as I say that, we died horribly to a bunch of diggles. Well, that's just embarrassing. Alright, yeah, it didn't feel right. And I don't even know why. But it didn't feel like that was... Okay, let's do another one. Unfortunate, but there you go. So, two runs in this one. Alright, so... I'll just want to have fun. Permadeath, no time to grind. What we got? Okay, so I think the problem with that... What was the problem with that? One, we didn't have a good weapon. Maybe I did go down to the second floor too quickly. Two, I didn't have really defense. Dodging doesn't seem to be really good for me. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do... Clockwork Knight... Dual wield, because I think our best runs have been dual wielding. 
throwing because I want to kind of get like what this is all about. And battle geology may be not a bad idea. Show it out. We need to get some battle geology here. And let's see. Maybe Hero of Time. The bomb's power works out pretty well. We haven't tried the Witcher power yet. Let's try that. And let's see. What else? Burglary, of course. Don't forget burglary. And let's see. Ley lines, get some more magic power. Sure, let's do that. Seeing maybe like big game hunter, or maybe we could find some tinkering. I think tinkering plus clockwork knight might be good. Sure, let's do that. I don't know if it is actually good, but maybe it works out. All right. Okay, bot of the universe. Who am I naming this after? Mister Soldier. All right, Mr. Soldier, 162. Thank you for subscribing to me on YouTube. I appreciate it. Let's see if this run has any promise here. Okay, so first things first, Platonic Fist, we gotta make sure that's in place. It's because we don't actually have like any actual weapons. Uh, we do have a lot of tinkering stuff though. So we can just probably look at the recipes. Uh, crafting, here we go. Put away that that okay so these are the things I have on me so I can limit it down to this and it says that if I have stuff I can gather stuff I don't know why I want a voltaic cell okay I can make my own crossbow if I had brass mechanisms and iron ingots I have neither of those but if I did it would be quite the sight okay well all right to grab this stuff Good to go. Grab the drink. Grab the food. The most giantest of strawberries that have ever giants. Alright, yep, that's the thing. Grab you guys. Okay, Battle Geology is going to help us possibly win stuff out here. Burglary helped us get that. That was nice. I will take. Yeah, maybe Stone Secret. It's a nice passive, basically gives me just bonus defense for a little while. Look at that, solid damage on that lady. Do not know where this trap is. Oh, there it is. Grab that, there you go. Leveled up again, nice. I will take rocket punch. I mean, how do you not, right? Who doesn't love a good, solid rocket powered fist? Okay, interdimensional axe. Um, we're just dual wielding, right? We don't care. Yeah, so if it's fist and an axe, that's okay. Oh, don't. I stepped right on that trap. Why did I do that? I didn't have I don't have a really good answer for that question. Sure, pick up the dig legs. Doesn't really matter. Well, we got a poster. Have you seen this large eyebrowed person? They are wanted on charges of vandalism, looting, and mass slaughter. Report settings to Lord Dreadmore for rich rewards. There's actually a dagger right there. Pilchus, the bringer of parties. Okay. Sure, why not? It's better than nothing. Which means battle geology probably doesn't matter right now, but the de actually, out of defense is actually not that bad. So, Ely? Yeah, there's an Ely over here. Hello there. I know you can spit at me, so I might as well just stab you. Ooh. Um, that's a little close. I nearly died there. Was not expecting that. Okay, just eat some food. And also, don't die. There's an Ely right there. I can rocket-powered punch it, though. He nearly died to it. The trouble is if I step up to him... Um, I can't punch him again, so this is going to hurt a little bit, but then he died. Alright, that wasn't so bad. I don't know if it was worth it for the loose face cube, but sure. That was narrow as fuck, though. We nearly lost yet another run. That would have been kind of hilarious, but I'd prefer not to. Deku shield? No. Alright, it's fine. Okay. A shiv. One and one. Our magic power is definitely better than that. 
Another Deku Shield. That's the problem with the Hero of Time mod, I think, is it actually replaces a lot of those shields with the Deku Shield, and that's not cool. Alright, another level up. I will take... Rock Jump, maybe? Tinkering skill enhances the Bomb Blast. Oh, Sign of Art. Art sign allows you to do powerful teleconnect force to shove away enemies and objects in front of you. Could be good. Oh, lucky pick we should be doing. I totally didn't do that the first time. Oh, it's a small monster zoo. This isn't so bad. Alright, rocket power punch for sure, right? Smash you guys, no big deal. Alright. You guys come up to me. I'm dual wielding, so theoretically this should just work out. We should probably master the dual wielding tree as well. That really worked out the last time we did that. Uh, these guys apparently don't even know I'm here, so just murder the dragon. The bats, unfortunately, are just gonna be a little too quick for me, but that's okay. And fastest monster zoo ever, and we got a good reward. Nice little halberk, whatever this is. The mechanistic draconic obsidian. Lowers our dodge chance, but everything else is pretty good about it, so we're gonna do that. There you go. Side quest time, huh? Sure, why not? Just more experience. Must use the item Pawumba, the Reverend Beating on the Monolith. Only then can Lord Dreadmore's servant, Fumquil the Policeman, patrolling Canadians, be summoned and defeated. Okay, you got it. I can totally do that. On the Monolith, you say. Do we know what the Monolith is right now? Do we have Loot Fisk? I don't see any Loot Fisk on us, so no. No Loot Fisk for us, okay. Monolith, I don't think we know where it is. Another side quest. Uh, sure, why not? I'm not actually wearing shoes. At least no shoes we're talking about. Hello there. Alert. Another jelly donut. Pilsner, definitely take that trap. Of course not. Should not have stepped in that trap. Hey guys, you guys seen a monolith around here? No, huh? Well, I mean, I wouldn't have expected you to, really. Some kind of weird magic effect. We're doing transmutative slashing. Oh, we're doing a lot of slashing damage. And toxic. Might be the transmutative that... Yeah, okay, it's the purple that's doing that. Oh, hello. Is it a... oh, I thought it was a shop there for a minute. I mean, it is, kind of. Sorry, right, we do have a... We do have throwing skill right now, so we got to learn how to do that proper. Make sure I don't throw away all my throwing weapons. We do still have the boomerangs, and this could be really good for us. Um, we have a way down. Oh, oh, and actually a way up to the left here. Maps are very useful. Never question the maps. Down here. Thank you. I don't know why I'm picking up the diggle legs. I guess at some point we might actually be able to do something with them. We do have the ingot press. I believe with ingots, ingot press, hold on, can I? It's ingot press and eggs, we can make the omelets, right? So ingot press. Yeah, four eggs, we can make an omelet. Can I just, do I have four eggs? I guess that's a real question. I have five eggs. I would like to make an omelet, please. How do I need to, hold on, I need to go down and then craft. There we go. Now I'm in an omelet. Okay. I thought I could just click on it, but that's apparently not the way that works. Okay, so we get like four cheeses. Okay, so it tells you whether or not you have the ingredients, which is great. So you can just go through here. I guess you could just go to the half ingredients. So we can turn the malachite into copper. Sure thing, do that. We can turn that into iron, sure do that. We can turn this into a dinner. Okay. 16 each, and it takes two of those to make a single dinner, which is in 20. Like, how is that good for you? That does not seem, I mean, I guess, no, I mean, it's bad. Why would you do that? That does not make a whole lot of sense. We make a plastic bolt, we make copper bolts. Um, that's it. We make bolts. We can make a wrench. 
for a mace class weapon, which is not necessarily a horrible idea. Although we're using, eh, we got it. We got a decent weapon right now. Let's not worry about it. Making the wrench is not really going to be helpful for us. Hello there, guys. Please be murdered. Thank you. Much appreciated. Appreciate you stepping up, helping out the plan here. More diggle eggs. In case we want another omelet, I suppose. The omelet is totally worth it. Like, the four eggs into an omelet works out. Just as far as I know, I guess I should check that. I thought it did, though. I thought we would have looked at that before. It was actually working out. Okay, traps galore, and you just step right into it. Nobody else needs to be here. Moving on. Hello. Another throwable weapon. I don't know if the softball is decent when we have actually the throwing skill, but I'm hoping it is. The wizard goes away. We've got mostly full health. Can I throw past this? Let's see. I totally can. I mean, he dodged it, but still. There we go. Got him. All right, most of them are fleeing in fear because apparently that guy was the guy in charge. All right, that's not so shabby. Native gold, sure thing. Test emergency dungeon warning system. Okay, so this basically does nothing. This is the monolith, so we should use our item here as soon as this is clear. Oh, we should not have walked in front of that guy. All right, use the item on the monolith. So, Wumba. There you go. Okay. So that's done. So now it should have called in. Yep, there we go. This room killed the policeman patrolling Canadians. He's got 34 health. That is less than me. We're going to do the rocket power punch, I think. So maybe I can actually come over to me. Which might not actually be possible. There we go. Alright. It did knock him back. He's stunned. Use a dwarven boomerang, kill him the rest of the way, good to go. And we got a stick. The stick is Blom the Last Daughter of Dinners. Gives us some defense, some counter. It's not too shabby, actually. Uh, might be better than the bringer of parties here. There you go. Don't exactly know how that dual wield actually looks, but it seems promising. Should we tackle the Sure, we're not. We'll, we'll tackle this. Why not? Just some diggles. What could possibly go wrong? Ha 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 ha. He says, having been killed by a diggle this past run. Little black book. Doesn't actually matter. Hello there. So. Are we done with this form? No, there's still more off to the side. The thing is, we got a wrap like all the way around. It's a pain in the ass. Can this teleport us there? Eh, most of the way there. That was actually not that bad. Got some copper wire for whatever good that does us. Another level up. I will take... I mean, it might be time to master some of this tree. That's a maneuvering. Sure thing. Up our counter chance. Sounds like a good idea. That's known here, so he just dies. Copper ring. Yeah, we don't have any armor ring right now, so thank you. Softball, Prince Mushroom. That's the first Prince Mushroom we've seen in a couple of runs. Oh, hello, dragons. Fortunately, this isn't so bad. Yeah, these guys are just dying in a single hit. Dragons or no, these guys are pushovers. That was pretty simple. Ballad of Bronan the Barbarian. It's a tome. Okay. It does up our might. Thing is, if it's not... If it goes into a weapon slot, it's not worth it. But if it doesn't... So I think we could like right click this and it goes to the right place. Shift click. Shift click drops it. Uh, right click does not go into the right place. So it probably is a weapon. Throw a weapon at you, because you're being a dick, and you should have come to me already. 
We can pick up all this good stuff, though we're gonna run out of inventory space pretty quick here. We're open at you, that at least alerted you that I exist. So there you go. Alright, the traps are like no problem. I, I probably should have done that. There we go. Okay. Is there a store? There's gotta be a store on here somewhere, right? I think so. Though where it would actually be, I don't know. The maid to pillars. I mean, it's the maze class weapon, but it's pretty junk. All right, we're basically done here. Get some argentite. I have no idea what that turns into. Argentite, argentite. I'm trying to remember what that means. I mean, malachite's like a real thing. That turns into iron. You can smelt it into iron, I suppose I should say. It doesn't just magically turn into stuff. My sprite in that trap. Okay, there's nothing really there. Okay, so that's a trap there. Grab the crude blade trap. Aluminum tube, one of the worst possible things we do there. Alright, well we got the experience. That's the most important thing. Hello, Krong. Would I like you to bless anything here? I mean, really, I have nothing but good blessing stuff. Here we go. Copper ring. Plus my copper ring. Okay, so that gives me necromantic. Yeah, necromantic attack. Alright, that's a decent... Decent upgrade. I don't think there's a store on this floor. I am kind of surprised. Alright, there's going to be traps. Yep, there's traps all over the damn place. Just be careful with that. Trap there. One more, probably. No? Color me surprised. Alright. All right, let's go downstairs and see if we can possibly not die. So far, we've not been making it, like, in the past few runs. We have not been making it past, like, 4-3. And I don't entirely know why. It could be because I'm trying to rush like that. Don't do that. That's just deadly. Like, I'm already down to half health. That's not good. Might as well go ahead and eat some stuff here because we've got the room for it. Or we're going to need the room, I should say. Alright, spring loaded power cord does not matter at all. I and mean, we do have the tinkering skill set. I'd like to be able to actually use that. I don't know how we're going to do that, though. These guys are running from me because I'm a very, very strong person. And they're scared of me. There we go. What's to me? Um, no. No, I'm going to do a wielder. Could do a wield shields. I don't think that's an actual thing, though. We could do it, though. I guess one thing we haven't tried. Have we tried dual wield and unarmed? Kind of sounds like something I might have tried, but I don't remember doing that. Okay, too many boss guys. Shouldn't be too bad. There's a rough iron sword there. It's pretty bad. Deciduous wand. Sure, why not? I'll pick it up. I don't know if it, like, creates a tree or something like that. I mean, that wasn't so bad at all. That guy just dropped. Look at me. Oh, there we go. Yep, there we go. Leveled up again. I will take Monster Toss, because why not? We don't exactly have a lot of abilities right now. Can I grab the sword? I don't think so. Get the Gargoyle L Trap. We want a shop. Unfortunately... Second floor, hardly ever going to have a shop. So I think we're just going to have to decide what we want to keep and what we want to throw it away. Alright, we need to get all that good stuff. I'm just trying to learn all the recipes I can. These do carry over to the runs. Oh, apparently you can turn softballs into bolas. Interesting. Can I come on down here? There you go. We're doing decent damage. I do love dual wield for that very reason. All the damage in the world. Pleasantly pitchfork. Um, that's pretty bad. Let's not worry about it. You guys don't know I'm here. A e hall lantern is not helpful for me. Okay, well this just led me over this way for no real good reason. Yeah, those torches light up. It seems like they're trying to lead you, like 
go this way for wonderful prizes and like nothing happens. It's a problem with random generation, I suppose. We can get gold. I don't think we want any of this stuff right now, so I'm just gonna leave it. Hello there, Death. How you doing? That bad, huh? Pilsner, which I also don't need. Malachite, sure. I mean, I guess we need the copper. We don't, but you know, in case. Uh, we have a space for a sandwich. Yeah, why not? Pilsner, I believe, and milk. Sure, why not? We pick up milk. The mellow shrine there probably is for a side quest. The white, I think, did no damage to me. Are we immune to white damage? Apparently so. Cool. I mean, we do still have the lingering weakness vessel, which sucks, but still. No actual damage for that. A uh, potion replenishment is actually really good, huh? I should trade out something. Let's drop out the stem belt and get that stick. Yeah, we are immune to the white's damage. That's fantastic. Now, if only we're also immune to the octo damage, we'll be in fantastic shape. Octo is not until like third or fourth floor, though. Our tail full can get there. But if we keep on being immune to damage, our chances are higher. Okay, let's back upstairs. Unless there's a shop magically upstairs in that place, and I don't think there is, then it really doesn't help me right now. Electrum. Maybe that's what Argonite turns into? No, Electrum's an alloy. Right? Electrum's like brass and gold? No, not brass. It's, um... Shit. It's shit and gold is what it is. No, it's, um... It's a monster zoo. I might die right here. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. It could happen. What I'm gonna do is drop the crude blade traps. Um... Oh, I can just close the door. That's hilarious. Um, I'm going to drop the blade traps. Can I do that? I can't right-click them, but I think I can, like, shift-click them. So now they're there. I did resist. They did take the blade trap. Oh, they only took one blade trap at a time, looks like. All right. Well, let's try not to let these guys surround me. I kind of wish right now that I had Demonology. It turns out... So the Demonology run... Apparently, that's just a native skill. Demonology. Oh, shit, we're gonna die. Uh, eat some food. No, replenishment. Do the potion replenishment. Yeah, there you go. Your demonology is just a native skill. It's not even anything. No mods at all. So, I don't know why it's just so super powered, but it is. And apparently they like it that way. Well, they all know I'm here now. Fortunately, we can kill most of these guys in one hit. We have, like, next no defenses. So, without demonology for this, we're basically boned, I think. Like, we have no protection against... Yeah, we're gonna die. We're only doing four... Oh, okay, we leveled up. We have a chance. We have a chance. What do I want from this? Ambidextrous defense does raise our counter chance. It's not bad. Rocket jump. Okay. Which basically does AoE damage, which I'm not necessarily adverse to. Seismic uppercuts. Erupt through the ground. That's not bad either. Son of Ard pushes guys away. Call Tast is... Okay, ammo recovery is increased. No, I think we want the counter chance. That gives us some measure of defense. Though it is only a chance, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge monster zoo. I don't know if we're gonna... Well, maybe. We just need to be careful, right? We might make it. I'm trying to be positive. Try to be positive. Of course, we can take these guys out in one hit regardless. That'd be great. It's really close. We just need a slightly better weapon in one of our hands. I don't know what hand. We don't stand in the poison cloud of doom. You guys, I can make you guys stand with poison cloud. I didn't know I'm totally okay with that. You guys should see me. Hello. It's like they forget about me very, very easily, which is advantageous sometimes, but right now, I'd kind of prefer if they just all filed out of the room and attacked me. Now, single line, no waiting, that type of nonsense. 
Okay, you just countered me. Don't appreciate that, buddy. So close. Like, if we had Big Game Hunter here, that'd be great, too. We'd totally level up on this, because there's a lot of animals in here. The Undead, less so. What if, like, Big Game Hunter and, like, Demonologist? Do the Undead count as demons? They probably should, but... It depends on the lore. Like, in some tabletop games, I don't think D&D is one of them. But in the same, some tabletop games, the Undead are basically... Oh, I'm standing in acid. Don't do that. Uh, undead are basically, like, demons in flesh clothing, effectively. Eat some food. Eat some more food. We got tons of food around. There. By doing that, we should improve our chances here. Like, vampires, for instance, would just basically be a demon. I think that's actually Buff of the Vampire Slayer. That says that basically a vampire is just a demon wearing a human suit. Effectively. The demon takes up residence in a human body. But make no mistake, it is definitely still a demon. Did that come back and hit me? I think the boomerang might have actually come back to hit me. Right, we're just going to throw some stuff around here, because why not? We have the boomerangs, we have the throw skill. Why not do this a little bit? It does seem to be knocking a lot of these guys out. Boomerangs are not bad when you actually have the skill to use them. We're gonna run our boomerangs sooner or later, though. It's gonna happen. So I'm gonna try to piss off as many of these guys as we can right now. And run our boomerangs. Okay, so... Flask? Sure, why not? Throw an acid flask. That got me some more experience, and they're gonna all take the hit as they come to me here. Hello, guys. It's a big old monster zoo. Could we maybe not die? That'd be great. Get some decent weapons, also be great. I'm looking for a decent sword, guys. You got a decent sword? I mean, it doesn't really have to be a sword. Really, we're dual wielding whatever's coming our way. Get bopped. I'm technically surrounded right now. Let's try to make that not happen. There we go. That's much better. Health is looking good. Technically not surrounded anymore. I mean, we're doing decent damage to these guys. Okay, we've got Octos. I'm a little worried about that. The Whites can't do any damage to us, so I'm not worried about them. But traditionally, the Octos have been a problem, and that is actually a boss Octo. Okay, the white. Not worth anything. Don't worry about it. The slime is actually just me. Oh, my God. Troublemaker there. All right. So far, so good. We're resisting it, but it's not... We're still taking damage somehow. It might actually be the Octo doing that. Or Puzzamosha, the Knight's Cucumbers, whatever the hell he wants to call himself. He's running away. I'm going to throw an acid glass at him. He blocked it. How, though? All right, let's get... Um, we need to eat something here. Get a Prince Mushroom for the out of defense, for sure. Eat some sandwiches. Okay, the Whites are definitely still doing zero damage to me, I think. Yeah, he's doing five. That's not horrible, but it's something we need to definitely get rid of sooner or later. Or I'm going to die right here, actually. It could happen. Let's get out of his line of sight. And heal up some more. Still 44 turns of healing. Let me just eat this here. Let's get everybody else first before we get rid of that guy. Seems like that'll buy us some time when everyone else dies in a single hit. Or two hits, whatever. As long as the Octo guy doesn't even know we're there. Are you still throwing stuff at me? No, that's the white throwing stuff at me. You die. You die. Alright. He did block the la- Oh, you know what we can do? Rock of our punch. There we go. That killed him. Okay. We have a better chance now, I think, of being this work. We mastered this tree. Like, the common momentum is really good for us. That increases our counter chance every time we attack, basically. There we go. There we 
go. This is almost done. We can do this. I was a little worried for this monster zoo. I thought for sure we were doomed. Seeing the scope of it, but this hasn't wasn't so bad. We totally made it out. We got the hero time cloak. Which is actually Is that better? It's complicated. Um I mean, I like the five defense. This does not have technically any defense on it, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna wear it. Hey there, Krong. Most of my stuff is already upgraded. You've been very kind to me, so I'm not gonna do anything with this, thanks. Oh, hey, a shop. Thank goodness. Buddy, you would not believe the sort of nonsense going on outside. You should definitely not go out there. I just, you know, personal, um, might just be personal preference, but you should probably not go out there. Should I get rid of the Tinker parts? That seems like a bad idea, right? But if I don't get rid of the Tinker parts, that means I've got to actually, like, dedicate myself to tinkering, which means we keep this stuff. Which doesn't seem likely to me. We're actually going to do this, so I'm going to chuck it. I question my choices right now, but too late. Let's your brutality. Okay. Uh, just sort. What do we got? We have a steel bracelet. Sounds cool. We don't actually have any gloves right now. We have 4,400. Of course, we go belt. We don't have a belt either. So, sure. Go to the Green Ranger, which not better than what we're currently doing. Crude Iron Sword's bad. The weapons here are just bad. Oh, the Flame Steel Flying Burge. 2 2. Um, no. No, it's still pretty bad. Trident, 3-6. That's not bad, actually. Um, I won't have the defense on the Daughter of Dinners here, but that's not horrible. Although we can't afford it. Son of a bitch. We have to basically sell everything we got. I'm not sure that's worth it. Okay, let's grab the belt and maybe the bracelet. That'll be basically it. So, belt time. There you go. Yeah, it gives us more defense. I like that. And the bracelet gives us some might. Which is definitely good. Just up our damage here. We have, like, no wizard points. We're going full warrior and rogue, it looks like. Do we have any wizard skills right now? Geology and, I guess, the witcher powers, which we really have not been diving into at all. Like, the Ard... Ard was really powerful when we we're actually, you know, playing the Witcher game. Witcher 3 was a fantastic game. I kind of sometimes want to go back to it, but then we have so many other games to play. You know, I've already played the Witcher. Like, replaying an old game is sometimes nice. It's nice to go back to something familiar. But also, there's just so much stuff to play. Like, how do I, how do I dare go backwards? Actually, that's one of my problems is that, I mean, I I want to play, like, a bunch of the old games, too, but, like, I can't. I mean, I could. I totally, like, I'm able to. But I just can't bring myself to do it. It's like, there's just so much other stuff in the world. Um, yeah, hello there. Drop that. I was expecting to get level up there. Hard Cider. And why is there a statue to a cucumber there? It's weird. Don't need the helm with three wood. Thank you very much. Well, dare I say it? Um, maybe not. If I just step into acid traps. I was thinking, like, we're approaching into the end of what would normally be the time for an episode end. Dare I think that we're going to make it to, like, the next floor? And we've got a good wizard rogue combination going on here. If we start doing art and stuff, we might be able to actually get some. Um, sorry, warrior rogue is what I meant to say there. Uh, warrior rogue stuff's going on here. It's pretty good. It's freaking Ely, man. Just spitting acid at me. Do not appreciate. The guy is rough, man. He's got a lot of. Did a lot of damage to me. Pushing a quickening, sure thing. Spellbolt, sure thing. I mean, we have a chance. 
It's not necessarily going to be a winning run, but I think we'll get farther as long as we're careful. Really, that's the deciding factor, isn't it? It's just whether or not we're going to be careful enough to actually possibly eke out a win. It's a great thing about roguelikes is every... There's always a chance. There's always a chance. It's not usually a great chance, but the chance usually is up to you. Are you going to be good enough to actually make this stuff work? Hey, lockpicks, that's cool. Murder you. Uh, speaking schedule for Thursday, the Atheist Monks, all are welcome to attend and listen. Welcome to the Church of All Faiths. Please respect your fellow worshippers, even if they don't adhere to your beliefs. I like that. So there's a Krong, Statue of Inconsequentia, and the Lutefist Statue all together. That's cute. I think, that's, uh, I think that's the one of the mods. Actually adds, like, different room configurations. Okay, sure, why not? Pop. Pop. It's not so bad yet. Um, we could... Do we have anything to give to Krong? Steel bracelet. I think we already... Yeah. We already got a blessing on this floor, so... If we do that again, I'm pretty sure Krong's gonna be upset at us. I'd rather not lose the steel bracelet. It's providing so much damage right now, I'd kind of hate to lose it. I'm. What am I doing? Click on the freaking monsters, you maniac. There we go. Good so far. The white's trying to murder me, but it's bad at it. There we go. Sure, why not? I think we can take this guy. Come on down, guys. Now, let me rocket punch you then. Actually, that did a serious amount of damage. And he's out. That wasn't so bad. Double staff. I'm sorry, that's just not good enough. I and mean, we'll take it, but it's not good enough to use. What is that? Powerful restoration. Okay. I'm not going to question it. If you can give me a powerful restoration spell, I'll totally take it. I mean, I can't take that sword. Knowing if I could, I'm not sure I would. So, we basically just explored this entire floor. There's some parts of it that are still a mystery to us. Not too much of it, but um, let's step over here. Oh, hello. I see you there. This is the last door. And just diggle. Just diggle nest. Alright. Could be we make it for a little while longer. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Dungeons and Dreadmore. We're going to continue this run next time. I'm Peace Universe, you're Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.